Hi, welcome to my first video about text generation with AI. AI or artificial intelligence tools become more and more available in the market. They can help you generate automatically text, images or even videos. Today I will look at tools that generate text or content. You can use that content in a blog or as a video script or as an advertisement and etc. The most famous tool available to my knowledge is uh, GPT-3 by OpenAI. GPT-3 has an online user interface called the Playground. To use it, go to beta.openai.com and register. You can register with Google account, for example. Once in the Playground, you can type what you are looking for, for example, the evolution of AI. You can adjust a few parameters, mainly the model, the temperature, and the maximum length. Then press Submit and you get content generated by OpenAI. OpenAI gives you a description of the models. For example, they say that the Da Vinci model is the most capable uh, model and that Curie is very capable, although at a lower cost. As shown on the pricing page, Curie costs a tenth of Da Vinci. My test subscription includes $18 of credit. This means I can roughly generate 2.2 million words per month if I use Curry and 225,000 words per month if I use DaVinci. The temperature lets you choose the level of creativity in the generated text. With a low value for the temperature, the AI will select the words with a higher probability of occurrence and vice versa. OpenAI also has an API that is very easy to use. So, are there alternatives to GPT-3? I read about uh, GPT-Neo and uh, GPT-J and I implemented GPT-Neo on my website thomasmore.org so that you can test it and compare it with OpenAI GPT-3. Here, like for GPT-3, you can enter the topic that you are interested in. It is called the prompt. Then you can adjust the temperature and the maximum number of tokens. 1000 tokens correspond roughly to 750 words. The temperature lets you choose the level of creativity in the generated text. With a low value for the temperature, the AI will select the words with a higher probability of occurrence. Press the generated button and then wait for quite a while. However, the model gets loaded into memory, GPT-Neo takes quite a while to generate the text. You can then compare the output of the uh, VIs. Please let me know in the comments below if you see other text generation AIs that I could look into. I could not include GPT-3 on my website because I have to get approval from OpenAI. Also, my credits could go down very fast. So I have implemented another version of this tool, a local version that you can install easily, I think, on your own machine. This local version displays the text generated by both AIs, OpenAI GPT-3 and GPT-Neo from hugginface.co. I will now show you how to install this local version of the tool on your own machine. First, connect to GitHub with the link in the description below. Download the tool by selecting code and then download the zip. Open the zip. Select the directory that is inside the zip file. Copy it. Paste the directory somewhere on your computer. For example, I choose my desktop and then test. I then paste the new directory in the selected location. The next step is to get this new program to run on your machine. For this, we need to install a few prerequisites and then launch the application. Here are the prerequisites. First, Python. If you do not have Python on your machine, uh, install it with the instruction below. Then open a common prompt. Go to the directory where you copied the tool. In my case, desktop slash test. Check your Python version by typing python dash dash version. It should display a number equal or bigger than 3.6. If a version is lower, you should upgrade your Python version. Then type python -m base env base env. This creates what is called a virtual environment. 
A virtual environment is not mandatory, but it is highly recommended. A virtual environment will isolate the version of Python and the libraries for this given tool. Then type VNV slash script slash activate. That should display a VNV text at the beginning of the row. Now that we have Python and a virtual environment, you have to install a few libraries on which our program will run. Type pip install followed by the libraries as given in the description below. If you do not get any error, you are ready to run the tool. If you get some error, leave a comment and I will try to help you. Go into the directory where you install the program and edit the file called config.py. In this file, replace this string called replace with your OpenAI API key with a real API key that you can obtain from OpenAI. Then start the application by typing python app.py. Open a browser like Chrome, Safari or Firefox. Open the URL 127.0.0.1 column 5004. You should now have the tool running on your local machine. Select a prompt. You can adjust the temperature and the number of tokens. Then press Generate to get the text generated by the two AIs. Please let me know in the comments if you see other AIs that I should consider. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.